What is up you guys? It's Susie from HeyGrillHey.com and today I am making you guys some Sonoran hot dogs. And if you don't know what that is already, you're certainly gonna wanna stay tuned and watch the whole video and learn how to make this Southwestern delight for you and your family. Let's do it. Sonoran hot dogs really came to fame in the Tucson area of Arizona. It's essentially a bacon wrapped hot dog grilled, which by itself isn't super exciting or different, but the way that it is prepared, the type of bun that it's served with, the toppings that are all on there, it is a flavor explosion. <laughs> and I'm really excited to make some with you today. To kick off our Sonoran style hot dog, you need four good size these are all beef hot dogs and you need four slices of bacon we're simply going to wrap each piece of bacon around our hot dog all right now these hot dogs are best served grilled but because we have bacon on the outside and bacon loves to flare up on the grill we have a pretty unique cooking process for taking these hot dogs from, you know, uncooked and cold soggy bacon to really rendered bacon with a nice crispy finish. So I have my gas grill set up today for two zone cooking. That means one of my burners is completely off. My burner in the middle is set to medium low and then my end burner is all the way high. We're gonna put our hot dogs first on the off heat side of the grill. This convection cooking style is still going to cook the hot dogs through. It's gonna render the bacon fat, but the fat's not gonna be dripping right on the flames and causing flare ups like crazy. Once our fat is rendered, after about 15 minutes, we're gonna move our hot dogs over to the direct heat side of the grill and get that nice crispy char on the outside of our bacon. Oh gosh, yes. But before we grill our hot dogs, I wanna add just another layer of flavor. I'm gonna be using my Fiesta Rub seasoning. It is the perfect blend of chilies and salt and pepper and lime, and it really brings that Southwestern flair to these Sonoran hot dogs. To the grill! <laughs> In the 15 minutes that our hot dogs are cooking and rendering that bacon fat, we need to assemble all of the toppings. And really, the secret amazingness to the Sonoran hot dog is all of the stuff that's served with it that truly just takes it to like this crazy, amazing level of deliciousness. So typically, it's served with beans on top. These are just some canned pinto beans. I've drained the juice. I'm gonna season them with about a teaspoon of my Fiesta Rub and then just toss them on the side burner of the grill just to heat through, keep it on nice low heat. And you really do wanna keep like the juices out of it without burning them. So keep an eye on it, keep it low. Cause we don't wanna make like our buns and everything soggy. We don't want them juicy. We just want them nice and warm and delicious. To top our Sonoran hot dogs, I've also assembled all of the delicious toppings that you would typically see in like a taco bar <laughs> scenario. We've got salsa, crumbled cotija cheese, fresh cilantro, diced red onions, sour cream, avocado, and then I also have some of my homemade candied jalapenos. I think the little bit of sweet with the heat is a great addition to the Sonoran hot dogs, but if you don't have candied jalapenos, you can use pickled jalapenos and they are also super yummy. Or fresh. Or fresh jalapenos, exactly. Okay, also let's talk about the bun situation for a minute. These are Bolillo buns. They're basically a little French bread bun. They're typically shaped like a football and these are substantial hot dogs. So you kind of need a substantial bun and it's gotta be able to hold up to all of the toppings that we put on there. So these Bolillo buns are a great option. I actually can just find them at my grocery store bakery. Um, but if you can't and you can get your hands on loaves of French bread, you can actually cut your French bread into four sections and use that. So for our Bolillo buns, we're gonna use a knife Usually serrated works really well. And we're gonna cut a slit in the top. We're not gonna cut the buns in half. We're gonna just make a little pocket for all of our meat and all of our toppings. 
So don't go all the way through and keep yourself about an inch from either end and just build yourself a little opening that our hot dog can sit in once it comes off the grill. Our bolillo buns are split. I can hear our beans sizzling. I can even hear our hot dog sizzling, which means it's about time to move them over to the direct heat side of our grill. But before I finish grilling the hot dogs, I'm actually gonna get a nice little toast on our bolillo bun. So I'm just gonna place these cut side down right on that direct high heat surface side of the grill for a little bit of char flavor and to warm up the buns. Our buns are nice and toasty. Remove those to our serving platter. Yes, oh, that smells so good. And then we're gonna take our hot dogs that have been cooking on our indirect heat side and we're gonna transfer them over to our direct heat side. And this is where you want to stay close by. We have rendered a lot of fat out of the bacon, but it still will be a little bit drippy. Everything here is cooked through. So our goal really is just to crisp up the bacon on the outside, give us some nice charred grilled flavor and then get them into the buns. Can you hear them? They're singing at you. <laughs> All right, hot dogs are at the crispiness level of bacon that I want. And we're just gonna nestle each one of these into our prepared bolillo buns. <laughs> Those are absolutely gorgeous. And honestly, when I'm serving these for family or friends, this is the level that I take it to. Everything's ready to go and then we kind of have a toppings bar party and everybody can load up their Sonoran hot dog with exactly what they like. Now for me, I like everything. <laughs> Cilantro, most definitely. <laughs> and there you have it, my friends, the Sonoran hot dog, a Southwestern street food delicacy. If you are not familiar or you haven't been to the area, this is a really fun opportunity for you to try something new in your own backyard, feed the people you love and become a backyard barbecue hero. Now I'm gonna cut this bad boy in half and show you a cross section of what it all looks like together and then I get to taste it. <laughs> that was a horrible bite. Oh my gosh. I'm putting more. All, you got sour cream in your hair? Oh my gosh. I mean, what do we do at this point? Do we cut it out? <laughs> yes. Leave it, most funny. That may have been the messiest bite I have ever taken in a video. There's so many good things going on here. I think I wanna start with the bread because really this type of bread is magic. It melts. It's so soft on the inside and it's got a nice crispy crunch on the outside. And it almost feels the same for the hot dog. The hot dog itself is nice and juicy and tender and beefy. And then you get the crispy crunch of the bacon on the outside. Mm. All of the toppings on here make this just like a mouth party with everything. You get crunchy onions, sweet jalapenos, tangy cilantro, creamy avocado, and then that fresh squeeze of lime. It's not like any traditional hot dog you've ever had before, but it still feels familiar and it's absolutely amazing. I just have a feeling you guys are gonna love this one. So I hope you cook it up at home. And when you do, snap a photo, tag me on social media so I can see it and cheer you on on your journey to becoming a backyard barbecue hero. See you guys next time. Mm -hmm.